their own fashion. Wow. Eric Nam is my lord. Maui kana out. Oh, oh that's yeah. Very Very makasalan. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Jessica here, and today we have a very, very special guest for our video as I'm introducing very trendy Filipino food. So we have the very, very one and only Eric Nam. Hello! Hi! Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. Eric, nice okay. to meet you. Okay. I know you have visited the Philippines a few times before, right? Yeah. So this is your... I think big. Time, Good already. Yeah. You look great with your barong you. fashion. Thank this you very is much. amazing. Thank wow. You. I got a nice gift. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And it actually fits to our theme today so much because I'm going to be introducing you some trendy Filipino food. I know you tried some Filipino food before, yes, right? I have. But this restaurant is actually they added some modern touch in their food, oh. so it's kind of like trendy. It's like fusion. -y. Yeah, kind of okay. like yeah. Got so it. it has some modern touch. So let's go and have I'm some excited. food trip. Yeah. Let's try it. So we actually already chosen some meals for dishes. Okay. But you can choose your own drink. So we'll get the Ooh. menu. I will do a triple berry mango. You're not allergic to mango? I'm not allergic to mango. Really? I used to be, but I am now allergic to oh. apples, pineapples, kiwis, and peaches. Oh, <laughs> so it changes, right? Yeah. And I'll get one peach mango. How well do you eat? How well do you eat? Pretty well, but yeah. we've been eating a lot of this trip. Yeah. So. yeah. Actually, there is like my top three favorite Filipino food. Okay. The sisig, uh -huh. sinigang, and adobo. Okay. We're gonna try their mix. And also, actually, I wanted to ask you. So you've already tried sisig. Yeah. You've already tried adobo. Yeah. So what's your favorite like Filipino food among the ones you have tried? I mean, this is kind of like a cop out of an answer, but I think adobo. I think it's like very homey and it feels very like cozy. Yeah. It's like a comfort food. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I can have it anytime. Yeah, that's right. So that's mm -hmm. probably why it makes me feel all warm inside. Mm -hmm. What about you? What's your yeah, favorite? Yeah, that's like actually adobo. As I said, adobo is my favorite. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> As you said, it's really like comfort food. Yeah. Kind of like it creates a kimchi jjigae mm -hmm. kind of thing for Filipinos as yeah. well. That was really While waiting for our food, mm -hmm. I actually just prepared a small little section. Okay. A little game actually. Let's do it. Guessing game because this month, August, is Buanang Wika in the Philippines. One more time. Buanang Wika. Buana Wika. Buana Wika. Buana Wika, which means language month. A uh, month of language. Eddie, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. You're. That's okay, like okay. all I know. Yeah. Oh, okay, Don't okay. worry. So since it's a language uh -huh. month, I am pretty sure we've already learned like different Filipino phrases, right? And I just picked some that's like trendy Filipino slangs. Got it. And I don't know, maybe some of because you've already like learned a lot of Filipino but, stuff. But okay, here's the thing. I have a horrible memory. So my fans are watching. They're like, Eric's already learned that. There's a good chance that I have, but my I am like a goldfish. Mm. I can remember almost nothing. I'm guessing the meaning. Yeah, you okay. guess the meaning of each plan. Okay, okay, so the first one, lods. Lods. Eric now is my lods. What? Ever since, really, ever since I was young, you were my lods, talaga. Lord of the strings. <laughs> is it an abbreviation? No, or it's not. It, give me one more contact. When I was younger, I dreamed to be a K-pop star. Okay. And so now, looking at Eric Nam, I really thought to myself, okay, Eric Nam, I'm gonna be like him. Oh. Eric is, Nam is my lord. Is it like role model? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it actually is a short form for Lodi. Lodi. Which is the opposite of the word idol. I-D-O-L, so L-O-D-I, so Lodi. Yeah. And we just call it like Lods. Which okay, means idol. so it's not Lord of the Strings. <laughs> it. that. So it's oh, Lods. Oh, yeah. Lods. Wait, hey. so you wanted to be a K-pop idol? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, did I, you I, audition and everything? I went through a training process, actually. Oh, you did? Then I oh. quit. Going back. Okay, actually, it really, just like my emotion a while ago, that face I made, right? It relates to the next word, Awit. A while ago, right? I tried becoming a K-pop star, uh -huh. but then it was just too tough, like the reality and everything. Oh. So, like, I quit. I quit. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah. Is it yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's actually a short of the word "ow" and "suck it." So "ow." <laughs> <laughs> Do you know "ow"? No, no you, but yes. is it like it's not like "ouch," right? It is. It is. Yeah. In the Philippines, it's like "ow, ow, ow." Suck it means Whatever. painful. Oh. Painful. Suck it means yeah. painful. So it's like "suck it sapuso." It's like oh, my heart hurts. Suck it, suck it, suck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got suck it would be like, whatever, suck it. Like, mm -hmm. but no, it's like, 
I like how they're all like. This one? Song. I would mean song. And sing. Ah, so how would you say sing a song? Awit awit. Oh, 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 oh. Umawit kanang awit. Umawit kanang awit. I have no idea what I said, but I think it means sing a song. Awit awit. The next one, we have Om Sim. Om Sim. Is it? Person one. Eric Nam is such a talented person. Like, he's so amazing. So he should, like, hold a three day concert in the Philippines. And then me. Om Sim. I feel the same Om way. Sim. I agree. And I'm gonna guess where it's from. Is it from Mismo in Spanish? And you flip it backwards and it's Om Sim. Did you learn it? No. Oh, you just. <gasps> I saw. Wow. Yeah? Is that right? Yes. Per How did you. Oh my god, you know? Wow. <laughs> 10 years of living in the Philippines. It's language month, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Pick up your game. Yeah. Let's go. Last one. It's also an easy one. SKL. If you're smart, you'll get it. So I'll give an example. You know what? Yesterday, mm -hmm. I listened to Eric Nam's new song. Oh my god, really? And yeah, it was so good. Like, I was like just lying down in bed and like the voice was like so good. Like, literally, like I was really idolizing him ever since I was young. So wow. it was just an amazing thing. Like, yeah. SKL. <laughs> Yeah, is duh. Awit, awit. The color of the nail polish of my pinky is pink. SKL. Flex. <laughs> it's an abbreviation of share kolang. Share kolang. Which means, I'm just sharing. Oh, Let me just share. Like TMI. Yeah, TMI. Yeah, TMI. Like TMI. Today I had three coffees. SKL. He should like, so those were all the well, most trendy you. Filipino slang thank set. You. And I think what really fits you most is this one. Because he's really my Lord of the Strings. Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> I know your album, the full album, is not out yet, right? It's not out it's yet. It's not out yet. But one of the songs, I would say the single, right, mm -hmm. is out yet. It's a new song. It goes perfectly with your voice and uh, the melody so and everything. Much. Can you share to us about your new single that came out already? Yeah. Al Sun Hill was the first single we put out. It was more about like wanting to find like happiness and like what do we value? human nature about no matter how many good things we have, mm -hmm. we always want more. And then I just released a new song called Don't Weep Yet. And that is about, I don't know about you, but like every time I go out mm -hmm. with friends, there's always somebody that doesn't want to go home. They yeah, always get yeah, like yeah. one more drink, one more bar. But we oh. wanted to write a dance song, but do it in a way that's a little bit deeper than just like, just dance. So mm -hmm. if you really don't want to go home, mm -hmm. You don't have to go home. Let's have one more dance. Whatever it is you're going through, just forget about it and let's have a good time. That was the inspiration of the song. Then the music video shot has like this crazy dinner party scene. Um, and we have some incredible dancers that we shot in like a haunted mansion. So that is also out. And you were there as well, you danced. I'm, you'll have to watch the video to oh see Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so but, excited. Yeah. You guys should watch that. Like, yeah. wow. Please dancing go. Eric now. Well, we'll see if I'm dancing or not. I don't know. Okay. On the south? Yeah, it's called salt bread. Uh, do you know Spanish? I speak Spanish. So, I don't oh. know if that helps. Does it help in learning Tagalog? It does, right? It does. Pan de sal, salt which bread. means salt bread. Uh, salty? It's not salty. Let's try it. Okay. You can just grab it with your hand. Okay. It's a kunming pang. Kunming pang. It's bread. So usually people have it with just butter or they dip it in coffee or oh. they have it with Milo. Milo. Not so bad. Butter is a perfect mix though for But even without butter, it's good. All the titos. Do you know what titos mean? Tito, Uncles, tita. Aunties. But he, he knows everything. Tito, tita. Sure. Like, oh, okay, it looks yeah. like a like a quesadilla. Mm -hmm. So they put sea so inside. Good. You like this type of food, like you know, like fried, like you know. In Filipino, I learned it. It's called makasalana. Makasalana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What you, is do you like that type is of like, food? Is that like fried foods? Sinful. Oh, I so love like makasalana. Yeah. It smells delicious. Yeah. Ooh. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Really so you, you can feel like the seasick flavor mm -hmm. that you know of, mm -hmm. but in a wrap. That's the crunchiness. 
from the wrap. Mm -hmm. And then you have the pork inside. Mm. Savory, aromatic. Sing Sing is actually also one food in the Philippines that's like very um, controversial. Why? Kind of like, um, cause you know in Korea also like we have, even if it's like the same food, they have the different ways of cooking depending yeah. on the province, mm -hmm. right? So this food originates from Pampanga. The original seasick, they don't put egg and mayo. But in the Tagalog version, so in this region, yeah. they put egg and mayo. But I think this one doesn't have egg, but it has some mayo. Mayo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like regional pride. Mm -hmm. Who's the original? What's yeah, the best? Yeah. That kind of thing. Well, this is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Buy your ordinary city gum. Wow. wow. Thank you so good. much. Okay. So, okay. Sisig was one of my favorite, right? Yeah. This is my other favorite adobo and sinigang. But actually, sinigang dish is actually a soup. Bugunji kimchi jjim kind of vibe. Oh. Yeah, it's very sour soup. But they made this into a. A reinterpretation. Yeah, 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 yeah. A special version. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's still gonna taste like that sourness Ooh, of the seed. So you gotta try it. I'm down. Ooh, thank you so much. This so we got green beans. Sitao. Sitao. Sitao is green beans? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Sitao. Wow, oh, this is language month. We're learning about vegetables and all of them. <laughs> you, have you, you know this, right? Okra? Yeah, okra, okra. You, do you like okra? Yeah. I like okra. Me? What is okra? You never tried okra? What is okra? No, I have. Oh, okay, okay. Okra. okra is Filipino, right? The kind of dish where it grows on you, mm. you have to. You have to get used so, to it. Mm -hmm. Start with an eggplant and a green bean. Mm -hmm. Wow, and perfect. A pork. Perfect. Just one bite. Mm -hmm. It's good. I get what you mean by it being sour, but it's not like a sour. It's just like it has a little bit of a twist. Really good. Yeah. It's really good. So it tastes exactly like the sinigang soup, but really in a dry form. The souring agent of this is tamarind. That's why like when I first tried this, I thought it was oil. Oh really? Because like I'm not used to like super sour soup, I feel like. In the Philippines, there's really a lot of sour dishes. Do people love spicy food here? People think that Filipinos can't handle spicy food because like in Tagalog region, spicy food is not common. But if you go to like different regions, like mm. Bicol, you know the spicy chili? Yeah. No. They literally eat this like... Uh. They're really good. Bro, no. I would die. I can eat some, but like, I'm not gonna eat a pepper. Nope. Wow. Have you tried this? Is this coconut rice? It's what kind of rice? Sinangag. Sina what? Sinangag. Sinang sinangag. Sinangag. Oh, there. So sinangag or garlic rice sinangag. is my favorite. I don't think I've had it. I oh, love garlic. So if you yeah. love garlic. If you like garlic, this is the yeah. dish for you. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like back ribs. You know? Yeah, it's like kalbichim. And I love kalbichim. Very okay. tender kalbichim. Actually, yeah, adobo is really the... If I would explain it to Korean, I'd say like Filipinshi kalbichim. Really, the, all the flavors are there that we know of, but it's like altered in a modern way. So it's really a trendy mix. What do you think? Try so. How do you say masara? Masara. Masara. Sober masara. Masara. You're right. Everything has kind of like a sour mm. little twist to it. Bicol Express is actually a dish. I mentioned it a while ago, you know, the province that's famous for eating spicy food yeah. is Bicol. Okay. So this is Bicol Express. So it's supposed to be spicy. It's spicy. Let's see. Let's see if Eric can handle Bicol Express spice. Oh, I smell the peppers. So this, I would say, compared to the first three food tried, uh, the, the most, most exotic. Okay. Yeah. So usually we eat it with rice. So it's just a oh. pantan, but oh. they added pasta in here. So it's their Got own it. thing also. Bro, that's spicy. It's good, but it's spicy. I'm gonna be okay. You're like, how spicy it is? Five or six. It's not crazy, it's it's like enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then the base of this is pork and coconut milk. The closest thing I can relate it to is like a Thai coconut curry mm. that's really spicy in pasta form with hella peppers. Exactly. Wow, well, you're good. You need, you need so to have your own much. food show. Thank you so much. He should like among all the dishes we've tried. What was your favorite again? I think my favorite was it's between the adobo and the sisig. 
Very different, but both very good. I think the Sinigang was good, but if I was like, you're gonna order one thing, I would pick between those two. Yeah. What about you? The Sinigang was also good, but then the Sisig, it's just perfect. It's very makasalana because it's fried and then it's fried again, but... Yeah. Very makasalana. Yeah, very, you're good. But very... You know, it's hard. The full meal is Makasalana. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> he should like hold the. Is there anything you'd like to talk more about your upcoming album? Yeah, well, I, I was supposed to bring you a signed album, but I left it. So, it's well, okay, I'll okay. bring one it's for okay. you, or we'll send one to you. Uh, but no, the album comes out September 8th. Massive Great. album with four music videos, a short film, the yes. most ambitious project yeah. oh, wow. that we've ever done. But I wanted to like do it because it's like my 10th year of being a singer. I was able to collaborate with songwriters that I've you know worked with for a long time that are some of my favorites and then as well as some artists that I really really love and wanted to work with for a long time. So one of them being do you know Han? H O N. Yeah, yeah, Han. Yeah. yeah, so I worked with them. Yeah. yeah. So the title song. Oh really? Yeah. I really listen to Han a lot, yeah. Oh yeah. The focus track for the album is called Only for a Moment. So that's with Han. It's a lot of I think beautiful music and visuals, so hopefully y'all check it out and wow. enjoy the videos and wow. the music and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, check out Eric's new album and the songs that has already been released as of now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.